great, and I just love your outfit. So, uh, my name is Derek, and uh, I am here today with Alan, who is a chef from the Keene area, Keene, yeah. New Hampshire. You came from New Hampshire to be here today? You bet. Awesome. And uh, how did you travel to be here? Uh, it wasn't much fun. We started out in New Hampshire at about 9 o'clock, met the bus in Northampton, Massachusetts at 11, Met some more people with the bus in Hartford at 12, and then we drove all night until the Delaware uh, uh, rest area and until at about 4, 4.30, and then we had a little breakfast and came here. Are you a small business owner? Yeah, I am definitely a small business owner. I have a chocolate shop called Unbridled Chocolates. We are nearly GMO free. We, we use alternative sugars. We have breakfast and dinners that are GMO free and organic and local foods. So, the whole company is changing to completely GMO-free, absolutely. So, as a small business owner, you have a unique perspective on this issue, I, I assume. Um, how do you see this issue that you think might be different for some, from someone else? Well, two things. One of them is it's my duty to be here so that I can inform my customers, so that I can cook my best and inform my customers about what they're doing with their bodies. Um, I've known about food for a long, long, long time. Um, I've been involved in very good food for about 35 years. And of course, uh, across that time, things have changed quite a bit. Now, we are literally being duped. We are being lied to. And uh, in the process, our, our health is suffering. What would you like to see happen as a result of today's event? I want mandatory GMO labeling on all food. I want to have choice. I want the choice. Um, as a small business owner, uh, do you have sympathy for small grocery stores who, who might say that uh, they just can't afford to label their foods? Well, um, I think it's up to the manufacturer uh, because the manufacturer is where the lying is going on. And there is a lot of lying. I call what, what we serve honest food. And a lot of people don't understand what I mean by that. There's a lot of lying about what is in your food. There's a lot of deception. For instance, is it organic or is it certified organic? What's the difference? Certified organic means there's going to be no trace. Organic is something they put together a few products here and there that said they were organic and put them in a package. Boy, that's really concerning for a regular Joe who might not have sure. the time to research sure. all of this. What's something that a regular Joe can do to start getting momentum moving in the right direction on this issue? I think um, go online and do a little bit of research as to why GMO foods exist and what extent they are health-wise. Do they offer any benefit at all? If you look at data, I don't see any supporting data that this is a better way. I see a lot of data that says this is a negative impact on our health and a negative impact on our planet. It creates about three times the amount of pesticides that we would use typically farming. It creates ten times the amount we would use if we were doing organic farming. If we were all farming the same, well not the same way, but if we're all, if more organic farmers were allowed to exist, or even semi-organic farm, then the costs of things would come down. Hmm. Right now, my organic vegetables do cost more. My organic, organic eggs do cost more. But I feel so much better cooking with it. I feel like I'm actually honest with my customers about the food that I'm serving. So I have to buy that stuff. I try to keep my prices as low as I possibly can. Um, I could jump on the bandwagon and say, well, it's organic, you know, you have to pay triple. But that's not true. You just have to buy smart. Wow. That's a, that's a really interesting perspective that I haven't heard from anyone else yet uh, today, and I'm glad that you're offering that. Um, you talked a little bit about the, uh, what you want uh, to come as a result of this event, and you said that um, you want mandatory labeling. Is that right? Um, what do you think the penalty should be if someone refuses to label their food? Well, I think it should be a civil penalty um, that uh, the people involved in the business, not the business, the people, in, people involved in the business, because businesses are made up of people. Policies are made by people. It's all about people. There is no such thing as some business entity. I agree. Uh, so, we, I'm not a lawyer, however, so I'm not 
uh, honestly, I'm not sure of the meaning of a civil uh, offense. Can you explain what you mean by that? Well, if you have a company and you're making flour, yeah, um, and you decide that you want to put in some GMO material, like suppose you want to put in some soy in there, yeah, and you don't tell me, and then I make pancakes with that, and then some kid eats the pancakes and he has a soy allergy. He probably has a soy allergy because he ate GMO foods when he was 18 months old by accident. Yeah. But he has a soy allergy. I serve him the soy. They go home and the kid ends up in the hospital for three days. All right? Yeah. Now, who's liable? Somebody should be liable because the yeah, kid I doesn't agree. belong in the hospital. The kid, involved, kid got into the hospital by somebody letting the ball drop or yeah. greed or whatever the reason. And that's just not right. It's not right anymore. Yeah, I really like what you have to say. F final question, you've been very generous with your time. Uh, there's a large presence of law enforcement here today. Sure. Can you tell me, what is your, uh, um, what do you think the role of law enforcement is in today's event? Well, right now they have to protect what they consider a subversive gathering. They don't know what to expect. Um, don't forget that they are fear mongers far worse than the insurance companies. So they want people to think that we might have bombs or we might be committing some kind of extreme civil disobedience or throw rocks at them. I don't know what. I don't really think that way. Um, but their, their duty is to be there to make sure that we don't step off the curb and get hit by cars also. Um, to make sure the traffic keeps flowing in case because we don't want cars rolling through the intersection and hitting us either. So their, their duty is to be there as a representative of law and order. Um, now, a lot of people here have you know a take on that. Some people have been arrested, whatever. We've all had run-ins with cops. Cops can be good, cops can be bad. If, you know, it's all point of view and situational. Um, I think today um, everybody's all happy and fine and wonderful. I don't think anybody wants to hassle anybody. I've talked to groups of cops. I've talked to the, the bosses, the guys in the suits. I've talked to groups of the guys in, in the uniforms. Um, I don't have a problem. I don't find any kind of animosity towards them or towards us from them or anything. I, I agree. That's been my perception yeah. as well. Yeah. And uh, uh, I appreciate your time, Alan, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you. Very much. Is there anything else that you wanted to say? Uh, maybe uh, well, where your website or something? Don't, don't forget. Nobody asked for Fruit Loops. These are market marketing-driven products that are being shoved down our throats, and it's not right. It's just not right. GMO, a great idea. Let's create something that can be easy easy to farm. Is a great idea but it didn't work out. So let's fix it. Let's fix it, because now it's a problem. It's a big problem, and they're trying to lie to us about it.